Hello guys, it is Killian, and I'm back. Except this time, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. I know it's been a while since we've done an art video. I think we've only really done three, and it was all Faith. Uh, she did my picture, she did Zan's picture, and I think she did the Deceiver. So I thought, well, you guys haven't really gotten to see me draw, so I can draw. I am not as good as Faith, but, you know... Why not? I, I gave it a try. So this is not the greatest recording. Uh, this is the first time I tried doing a time lapse. And my computer is really not the greatest for it. Hopefully the new rig that is literally sitting a few feet away from me, incomplete, uh, will be able to handle more stuff like this. So anyway, what is this? Um, a good friend of mine, Mr. Carta, and I are going to be doing a new video series that's coming up and he needed some art for it. Uh, you can see I keep flicking back and forth to this one picture and it was a podcast picture that had been drawn for another group he was a part of, but he didn't really have a single avatar that he could just pull out and use for an overlay. So this isn't really going to be like a full-on picture like mine and uh, Zan's where they you know, had a background, it was very detailed. This, it's going to be more prominent outlines with a transparent background. This is the kind of stuff that we use for like video overlays, like the picture you see of me and Zan, uh, the one that Raven did, and the one I did, if anyone actually watches Lost Kingdoms. And then there's like the robot version of me for uh, Lost Kingdoms. So that's kind of what this is going to be, except it's going to be for Carta. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the process of taking it uh, as a transparent background and actually applying it to a uh, thumbnail or banner. I, uh, I think, is that what I did at the end? At the end, I, yeah, I go into Photoshop and I actually made like our banner that's gonna be for the intro of the show. So I'm just gonna play some music and I will occasionally chime in. Yeah, Faith's style is very painterly, but uh, with video overlays like this, you want prominent outlines so that, um, you know, it's, it's more simplified. It's not painted, it's more uh, cell shaded. So um, it's easier to see, not as detailed, and uh, it scales well. This is about a 4000 by 4000 image, or pixels that is. So uh, it can be shrunk down or it can be enlarged and it still looks pretty good. And, um,. Or something else I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, you just want a more simpler look for video overlays. It isn't a full scale drawing. At this point right here, I kind of realized that the uh, hat was a little off-centered, and I was going to leave that left eye uh, just completely in shadow. That's why I kind of leave it there, but towards the end, I end up uh, adding another eye. Just going to add some color. I probably could have flood filled this, but I kind of just like to you know go over it and then clean up the edges because uh, a lot of the times with flood fill, if you have the tiniest gap it will just flood the entire page and it just does not end well. Yeah, and for anyone that um, is just getting into art, at least digitally that is, it's a good idea if you're not really good with color, 
Like, I'm not the greatest, I can, I can kind of pull by, but if you find a picture that has a good color palette that you like, just bring that picture up and take the colors straight from it. I'm actually just using the, sha the same shades uh, from his original picture, and that's what I'll do with a lot of the character designs, because I want to stick to that original composition that uh, Faith had on the chibis. Yeah, the first bit of this is just going to be adding in the base colors. Because what I usually do in uh, this kind of cell shaded way of drawing, you know, with painting, what Faith does is you just add color and then you paint over that and over that and on top of it. But what I'm doing with this is I actually get the different areas colored and then I will uh, get a layer to clip on top of that base and just color straight onto it. And you'll see that in a few minutes. Basically what it lets you do is, it lets you draw on top of everything on that layer. So like, for example, if I wanted to add some highlights to the hat, it would only show up on the hat. It would not go onto the white at all, and it just kind of makes the process a bit easier if you're doing quick stuff like this. I kind of felt bad, this could have come out a lot better, but I wanted to try doing the time lapse, because I was kind of fighting the lag as I drew this, so it might have come out better, but I, I like the end result. It looks pretty cool. This is when I start actually uh, doing clipping layers. So I'm actually going to be drawing on that eye, but it won't spill into the rest of the eye or onto the hat or anything. It will just be drawing on top of the iris. Adding some shine in there. And now the fun part. This is where I start adding in all of the lighting and the depth you get from the picture. And you know, I'm no expert, obviously Faith is a lot better than me at this, but if you want to start understanding how to do, like, simple shading, I couldn't really grasp this idea as a kid, but it is really simple. If you look at an object with bright light hitting it, look at where the light is, or like the highlights, you know, the brightest center of the light, and see where the shadows fall. See, like, for the hair I'm doing the uh, brighter parts, and now I'm adding in the shadows. So just look at objects, that's really the best way if you're not sure how to do shading.
yeah, I kind of went overboard with these highlights on the shirt. It just didn't look right to me. The angle's kind of funny, and I had the uh, light spread too far, so I, I think in a second I'm going to be cleaning this up and kind of cutting back on the highlights a bit. And now I'm, I'm, I kind of realized that the hard lines don't really work in certain places on the, this picture, so I just kind of got an airbrush and I kind of blended it together a bit, just so it's a bit softer. But in some places I still kept those hard lines where it was necessary. It just kind of seems out of place when you just have a little splotch of color. Yeah, this is right when I realized, eh, that shadow really isn't deep enough to uh, completely conceal the eye. So what I did is I just kind of copied it. I normally don't do this. I usually like to draw eyes separate, but I kind of erased some of the lines and redrew them just to give the eyes a bit of individuality so it wasn't like a complete copy paste. Alright, so now I'm just in Photoshop, just filling in holes, because this is going to be an overlay for a video. I don't want any transparent colors, or you can see right there on the arm I kind of goofed up. So I'm just painting from the back, just black or whatever color is behind, to uh, make sure that there are no transparent holes in it. Now I'm going to get into actually making the thumbnail, it's just 1280 by 720 standard uh, YouTube resolution. And I'm just going to take all the graphical assets for the new show that we're going to be doing, and I'm going to throw them together. I, I tried using my original chibi, but I, 
I just realized immediately that the uh, proportions were not going to work, so I uh, busted out the picture Raven drew for me with my lightsaber, and we're going to use that one. So this, the 16 by 9 ratio, 1280 by 720 it uh, works for the standard HD for videos and then it's also the same resolution for uh, thumbnails except thumbnails have a cap on data so what I'll probably do is just scale this down just a little bit to uh, save space and then this will be both the uh, intro or a banner for the show and it will also be the uh, thumbnail you guys see in the uh, feed Alright guys, that's about it. That's kind of the uh, point A to point B of uh, making a video overlay or a character. And uh, yeah, and making the thumbnail. Oh, and I almost forgot, when you, uh, when you want something to be transparent, you have to save it as a PNG. So in Photoshop, you want a transparent layer, as, you know, as we had. We had nothing on the background. We opened it in Photoshop, and we just saved it as a PNG with a transparent layer. And then when you put it over a video like this or over other graphics, you have that beautiful, reusable video overlay asset. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it wasn't a very comical video, but I'm trying to teach you guys something. I don't know. If you like this, I'll, uh, I might be able to do another one. I might have to wait for the new computer, but... Uh, like and subscribe and all that good stuff and uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time